Now, what is going on, everybody? It is the one, the only Q here from Retro Q Gaming, and we are going to do something a little bit differently. Now, we are running ever so slightly late in a sense, but ever so slightly early in a different sense, simply because I know that this Nintendo Direct happened an hour and a half ago, but I was busy streaming retro games over on Twitch, so that had to take present. I didn't want to, I didn't want to get that out of the way for us. So I haven't seen what we have on here. The whole presentation is done. I do know two things about it. I'm not going to say what they are just yet. One of them I don't care about and doesn't matter to me. The other one, I'm a little bit salty was spoiled on me. But the the big specific details about it, we don't know just yet. Now I am going to mess around with these volumes. I'm going to get started. We're going to see what's going on. I've been going through all types of predictions and all on Twitch earlier. I'm not going to go through them all again today. Anyway, let's just get started. We have about an hour ahead of us. So, let's go. Peggy 18. Nintendo's first proper direct in a long, long time. Year and a half. Let's drop some volumes a little bit just to be safe. <clears throat> oh, as a quick pause, a quick aside. So, what we do, if you're not familiar with this whole thing, is instead of giving it a thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle, instead of giving it a score out of 10 or 5 stars or whatever it is, by the end of this, or at least when it gets to the point where it's just completely blown me away and blown my socks off, our scoring system is it all comes down to one important thing. Given what's going to be revealed and announced and all in here, is the future so bright we have to wear shades? Now... We will determine that at a slightly later date, meaning throughout the course of what we have here. So, once I get these back away, nice and safe, let's rock. Xenoblade. <clears throat> Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Is it a new full expansion? They already had a big expansion for it, so... One day, Pyra just disappeared. I feel like this is going to be spoilers, because I've never... I've never finished it. That girl on the left, she looks like... Uh, she looks like the evil one. She's like the rat of the White Witch. I do plan on playing <clears throat> Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's a very difficult game to play. Not because it's hard, but just because it's so eye cancer. A trace? Where have you gone? I'll find you, whatever it takes. This is where you were. When it showed the clouds and stuff at the very start. Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. I actually expected it to be Kingdom Hearts. Because I got an invitation to join Smash. Oh, ho, ho. they opened up with the with the Smash Bros. Pyra blazes into battle. Oh, get wreck, Rex. You, you two right, Governor. We did. Ah, get wrecked, Link. Now this one doesn't apply to me at all. I don't care for Smash. Talk about a tight spot, Mithra. Let me handle. But she can change into the better waifu. This is the better waifu. Now, are they both the same character? 
It, as in, is it just going to be one of them at it? Or what's the deal? Crikey! Although I guess Crikey's more of an Australian thing. Okay, so it is the same character, just bouncing back and forth between them. Different stances, if you will, different modes. Oh, that's that's her stage. That's cool, she's gonna get her own stage out of it at least. Now, now that I see that it's actually in Smash, I kind of wish it was actually DLC or expansion or something to the original. Uh, Shulk from the first one. Oh, yeah, I suppose he's already in it. The Monado. I won't go easy on you. Fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too. Waifu time. Smash Bros. Ultimate. X Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm not a big fan of Smash anymore, so. Eh. Nintendo Direct no so let's see what we get. I'm surprised they opened with a smash announcement though. I would say that. Nintendo Direct Mini という形で皆さんに情報をお届けしてきましたが、こうしてこの場からご紹介する形での Nintendo Direct は、at least they're acknowledging the lack of a direct. 今回はようやくメドが立ち、皆さんに Nintendo Direct をお届けできることを心から。Now, what do we what do we have? What do we get? What are we waiting on? What's up first? Other than Smash. Giant of Smash Brothers Special No. Shin Fighter, Homura to Hikari No. Sansen Movie. This. Xenoblade 2. で主人公レックスのパートナーとして登場する彼女たちの活躍に。I hope they don't spend too much time on Smash. 配信は3月を予定していますので、もう少しだけお待ちください。ここからはヘッドラインをご覧ください。Okay, first, first batch of Switch headlines. This is what I saw earlier when I opened up the stream with the intent to pause it and jump back to the start. It was this right now. It started with the egg and then he didn't even get a chance to pick up the soy con. So it's fall, guys. I have no interest in Fall Guys, so I wasn't too salty about about having it ruined on me. I can only imagine how awful this will be, not only on Switch hardware, but also with Nintendo's online. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Oh, hey, Fall Guys is big. A lot of people want it. It's on the Switch now. 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Oh, Outer Wilds, I've heard of this. This this was big on PC. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. I've actually never seen anything to do with it before. I've just heard the name. will reset. Allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Yeah, this was one of those big by indie darlings cycles, on PC. We'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. I didn't realize what it was this type of game at all. How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out. When the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch, Summer 2021. She says Summer 2021. Put skills to the test in two classic oh. murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind 
two deep cuts <laughs> in Nintendo history are coming to Europe for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be I wasn't expecting to go with a graphic novel. Deep narrative set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. The animation's kind of nice, though. The way it's the all slightly crack. movement. I just wish it wasn't really low frame rate. I mean, it doesn't affect the game the in a game, graphic novel. You'll investigate a supernatural rumor novel, after a but... mysterious death to free students from a sinister <laughs> nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? <laughs> Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing sesh. Air and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, Maybe. so they're all Japanese voiceover and English text on only. Okay. Shop shortly after this presentation. I don't. I, maybe. It depends on the price. Begins. They seem decent, but at the same time, I've been meaning to pick up a couple of visual novels, and I think I'd have some other stuff that would be more priority if I finally got around to it. Wait, Nobunaga? Is this Onimusha? Is this that terrible PS2 Onimusha? The Ford one? No, okay. I guess Nobunaga is just a kind of a generic Japanese name, I suppose. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo so it's, Switch. So it's another Dive into Muso the history game. of the Sengoku period. AKA the Dynasty Warriors. now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character God. designs and visuals have been Nintendo graphics. for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1,000 battles. In Samurai Warriors 5. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Let me change. Also, depending on how the volume is, let me know. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Wait, is this... Legend is this of one Man. of the mana? Yeah, Legend of Mana. HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. This is a PS1 game. You'll set off I'm definitely interested in this. It didn't come out over here. Tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join yeah, this, forces with characters this has me tempted. on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for the what Army? version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement okay, and good. the original sound. Okay, good. Volume's good. Sound is Other good. That's what I like to hear. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. Yeah, that's a, that's originally a PS1 game that never launched over here, and I'd always intended to pick up a copy but never got around to it. This Monster Hunter Rise, as predicted. I was just playing Monster Hunter World yesterday. And it's so hard to look at this visually compared to playing Monster Hunter World. I'd have to go back and double check. I, I wasn't paying attention to it. To the point where I actually have already forgot the release date for Legend of Mana. I want to say March 24th. 
April 24th, May 24th, something 24th. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. I do intend to pick up Monster Hunter Rice on PC in October. Hunter's about to face the biggest challenge yet! Go! Go! I mean, I don't Hunter doubt it would be a good game. Pull yourselves together! You're not getting it! It's just gonna be... adjusting. Go rampage somewhere else! You listen to me now! The thing about it is, since the Switch obviously can't run it, Watch and it's... It has to run on the switch. You can clearly see it in the level design. Let alone the graphics, but just the level design. Monster Hunter Rise. I think it's out next month on Switch. We should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity! Yeah, March. Okay, there we go. I think it's funny. June 24th for Legend of Mana. Okay, nice one. Nice one. Thanks for going back and checking that date for me. Saves me a little bit of time. So June is summer. I, I don't have to worry about that for a while. And hopefully they announce other platforms in the meantime. Okay, be something good. How long have we been? Oh, Mario Golf, okay. The fairway is open once wow, 15 again. minutes. It feels like it's been much longer. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Super Rush. Start I'll be tempted to pick terrain. this up. Take your Just time to think things through. Actually, you know what? Then swing. There's a big important thing that hinges on me picking this up or not. Enjoy this direct is pretty lame. Oh. Jordan, characters. Jordan, you gotta, you gotta relax. Don't do this scenery. to me. No spoilers. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. The big and thing that lets you examine a course's terrain. That hinges me buying this These or not. features can help you ace your shots. Is the ability to play it without using the soy cons. You can also See? use motion control. Okay, button control and Joy motion control. Like a golf club. No then soy cons for me. Give me a pro controller and game. play with the controller. Letting with the actual buttons. Enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. <laughs> Bowser's gonna run in front, like Speed block the be like a point guard for uh it's always your turn. For everyone Once taking a shot. At the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention I mean, this, this the looks story decent. mode? As a me character, yeah, see, Carl, I'll exactly. As a rookie. N64 Mario Golf. Good stuff. Various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Hell, Level even think of Wii Sports Golf then, on the Wii. That was stats, brilliant. Allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. Wii you Sports Golf was amazing. In versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf June 25th. Okay. Swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. I'm tempted to buy this. Nintendo e -shop I will. After this presentation. I will likely buy this. シリーズ最新作マリオゴルフスーパーラッシュはシンプル操作でじっくりゴルフが楽しめるおなじみのモードに加え対戦用の新しいスイッチ。I can I can master, refine, and hone my golf skills in Mario Golf. And I live very close to uh to like a world famous golf course here in Ireland, so I can just go straight from Mario Golf. To the K Club. Boom. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. Be something good. Something that I want. Return to the unforgiving world of Aha. Pandora. I predicted it earlier. 
play as the Hyperion lackey Reese. Because it was uh, it was con artist Fiona as it was rated for a Switch as well as every other platform. But when the announcement came out earlier, game includes all it ha left off everything. With classic border or it listed everything except gangsters, for Switch. So I knew it was going to be in this tonight. Just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. Uh, quick reminder to everyone that of Capcom's most beloved arcade Telltale is a shit company. Nintendo Do Switch. not support them. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free. Then purchase Game Packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Yeah, this was the co-op play. It's also the multi, the multi that pack one. There's some nice stuff on it. Launches shortly after this presentation. But I have them on. I have all the good stuff on other and platforms. The Sims. As a zombie, oh no, stones. Can't get enough of them. In wow. this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Uh, that's an Xbox your game. your arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. That's this an OG Xbox no game. for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. So... Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. They're all... Microsoft are going, like, almost completely multi-platform at this point. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Yeah, I was gonna say versus assassins. That's it. Aliens. aliens have invaded Earth. Is this Hold like space invaders? Game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero oh ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Look at it. As the crass, it's beam like a slideshow. Assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. I know someone who's gonna be all over this hey, game. Hey, hey, not so fast. To enter each boss fight. You'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay oh off. Oh my god, look at You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved death glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. It's the so painful to look at the state. visuals on a Switch so game. Get ready to kick some uh whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense. Oh, he's got the Akira no bike slide. Lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. Oh, so it's just No More Heroes 3. Okay, never mind. It's not a... I thought it was a separate Terminate game. demons in he heaven. Wait, is this furries? As above. They look like furries. So furries. Furries are an instant band. Assassins in heaven. <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Also, that's Steve Bloom, the best voice actor ever. This looks like um, Mirror's Edge meets Bulletstorm. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. With a little bit of maybe we mixed judgment in. has nothing to do with it. Neon ways. I've never heard of it. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to oh. save the day. Here we go, lads. This Hi, is everyone. it. My name this is, is it. Gordon. This is it. This is the, the real deal. The future is so bright. Like my and we gotta wear shades. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision plus super breath. This is clearly it. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our Oh, not just day one. But we're not pre-ordering right now immediately after this presentation. And trust me, there's never Actually, it's probably up for pre-order right now because this presentation is being done late. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share. On also, I like the virtual well green right. screen. That it actually works well. Hey, hey I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. 
Uh oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. But on the real, we, make sure no one figures out our secret we haven't decided identities. if the future is so bright we need DC shades yet. Superhero Girls Team Power, heroically sourced on the Nintendo Switch, June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. But there's still, there's still half an hour for the potential. What is this, Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah. Battle for neighbor na neighborville, neighborhoodville. Not my type of game. Someone tells me it's a lot like Splatoon. Ooh. Oh, did you see the that that frame rate was rough. That was rough. Yeah, someone tells me it's a bit like Splatoon, which is probably why I, I have no interest in it. What else we got? Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. Is this the, the thing from 3DS? Band together on a quest to face evil and save faces. It's basically the thing Me from Tokyo the 3DS? To Nintendo Switch. Oh, no, Me Top. I think it had, I think it was. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Who knows, maybe they'll, they'll backport this into, your into stuff like make someone the Super Mario 3D Wars. World. Makeup has been added as a new It's like the new game. version of Miiverse. Slam up your Mii's and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your Mii creations. Oh, I was, I was really hoping they'd put space fabulous. buns on there. Trigger a bunch of people. In the world of Miitopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. Yeah, I'm not gonna play this. Sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good. Oh, Care for it, and it'll lend pretty a hand barn good. Poof in battle. Venture with I'll give it like a six out of ten. In the lighthearted romp, Metopia, coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. Six Three out of ten for the fun, not for the quality of the game. This presentation. Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. Not what I was expecting. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. I was just expect I was expecting Familiar there to be items, like, the like Super a Mushroom DLC expansion or something. In game as furniture items. Rather than including this kind of stuff as an update. And wherever you'd like. I kind of wish I never stopped playing Animal Crossing. It just got a bit boring. The, the new monthly patches and new monthly updates and all weren't fr weren't frequent enough, as me as that says, considering they're once a month. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? It just wasn't enough. I tried going back to it fairly recently. Update for the game launches February twenty fifth. I played it for like half an hour because I wanted to show a friend of my, my world. Available via Nook Shopping starting March first. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. And maybe I'll go back to it when the March update Super rolls over. Super Mario Brothers okay, we're about halfway through. It's okay so far. Super Mario Brothers 35周年といえば先週スーパーマリオ 3D 
to another game. What do we got? Well, this is Zelda. Yeah. I was going to say, this is Zelda because you could tell with the three colors in the... No, wait a minute. No, this is Fire Emblem. Is it? Oh no, it's Bravely Default 2. He leaves us no recourse. Swords! Never. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of Lord? I remember when they first showed off and burnt corpses. You in the same no style. Must decide how we proceed. They showed off. Oh, what's it called? Project Octopath Traveler. Must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these and it fields. gave me so much hope. You burn. But then I played the demo, I and it had nothing going for it except the, the visual style. Project Triangle Strategy. So it's basically the, okay. It's not Bravely Default. It's uh, it's like the new sequel or the new entry in the Octopath Traveler. And iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. <laughs> That's the original. The ceased with an uneasy truce. Decades later, the flames of war if, threatened if to engulf the If you want salt, you just mind an Entendron fan base. If you want iron, you come to me because I'm hard as nails and I can do all the stuff with games. Fights to Easy. Save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? In this new tactical RPG, battles. Oh, this one is tactical rather than Octopath Traveler. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended. I hope this one comes to PC, like Octopath Traveler did. I would consider buying it and arrows. because Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other This looks a lot like, say, Vandal Hearts or Final Fantasy Tactics or stuff like that, not only which your initial attack, is very but also appealing to me. A powerful blow from the Allies positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? It just depends if it's good. The Charge style of game and style of gameplay and visuals, I need more than that. Attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then they shock it. the area with lightning magic. <laughs> It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Yeah, this actually looks like a good game. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions oh, will no. establish your conditions. All the massive frame drops you're seeing, story it's actually in the trailer, in the, the direct itself. It's not just on the Once stream. More, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. You yeah, it, it does, Carl. It, it looks like a pretty good game. Allies toward your favorite cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down. I like the, the, the isometric, from those of other players. You will like, grid-based games. Is. Fire Emblem. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Okay, it's next year. Please so, be um, look out for more uh, information Final Fantasy Tactics, in the future. The Vandal Hearts, After this stuff like that. Oh. A demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. I will be trying future, that. We'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. I will definitely be trying that demo. Square Enix RPG After all, it's going to be funny. The demo for Octopath Traveler turned me off Octopath Traveler. Hopefully the demo for this one doesn't do that. Calling all hunters. Do you have
have what it takes? This is something Star Wars. Because I could see the Stormtrooper helmet on the, on the wall. No, CZ. Here in the real world, we do the, the dates correctly. We do the dates correctly. It's the 17th of the second. You get out of here with your madness. Star they just announced it's Star Wars Hunter. That's it. Oh, it's not Star an EA Wars game. Hunter That's interesting to note, though. Free -to -play oh, it's a mobile game by Zynga. Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Yeah, this is uh... a... Right, let's do this. All right, <laughs> Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Corgan use many weapons. Triple bladed war. Axe, at first I thought it was Fortnite. Then I saw this guy and like it can't be. is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for us. You switch now so you can care about the Nintendo Direct. Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. So so far, this direct presentation has been slightly thumbs up. I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, this reminds me of Drawn Together. Want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. <laughs> it looks like it's it's another one of those. Hmm. Let's find out what sound you're What am I looking for? Splatoon wannabe, if you will. This is, uh, yeah, it's another battle arena game, basically. This is, uh, this one seems more sports battle than anything. Because it's got the whole ball side of it in there, too. It's an EA game, though, I'm very surprised about that. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight. Is this the second World Ends With You game? From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series. No, I guess not. Fight for your life. Oh, they mentioned Zero Escape. That was the game I was looking, the name of the series I was looking for earlier. Must now survive this game of fate at all costs. When they were talking about the Famicom games. Sorry to scare you all, but the game is cancelled. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. As you I'm gonna have so much to catch up with on, on Twitter and all over this computer. It's gonna be ridiculous amounts of everything. Monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in Wolves End Club. It's a big ass play. Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release oh, of Hades. I was going to say, isn't Hades, Hades already out on the Switch? Dungeon crawler and recipient of but because the Switch has no games, awards. they need to re-advertise a physical release of a game Switch. that's already out. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey. Who's out ready of the for 10 hours of exposition? Welcome to Nintendo Direct. Hades original soundtrack. I know you're new to it's it here, CZ. You just got the Switch. Music composed by Darren Korb. That's how this is going to be. Work on previous Super Giant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating It's actually action on a game card. A compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Three deadly action games. One oh, that's a uh, Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. 
Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. That's a... Uh... <laughs> For you six generation Ninja games, Ninja those graphics fighting against are a rough. Great evil with battle skills that I mean, I know Switch can't do any better, but... An arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with a different set of lethal skills along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Hey! All previous downloadable content... Kasumi and, and, uh, Ayane. I don't know who the second girl was. They're all from Dead or Alive, just like Ryu Hayabusa. Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Okay. Never sure which ones those were originally from. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Oh, this game. This game needs to stop. Let it let it go already. We got another 11 minutes. We we'll see how it goes. As far as the Ninja Gaiden games go. I can't, I think they're all sixth generation games. One of them, the last one, might have been a PS3 game. Oh, I knew it. I remember everyone said, oh, Nintendo won't go the way of the DLC and all, and then what did they do? They had it for Mario Kart, which was good, I will give them that. That is a proper There's amount of content. Then they had it for Switch. Zelda, now this, probably more. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Okay, there's Four Bravely Default of Light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the Brave and Default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. Still looks like a 3DS game, though. and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. Oh, you know what? I should download... The latest installment in the legendary... Uh, and Goblin just what we were talking about earlier. Life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle no, I was going to say I should download... ...stages within the demon realm. The Local triangle strategist is game for the first time. demo. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. But Barry then I remembered defense. I don't want to mess with the screen. For transportation stream, or not for screen. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo. Oh, it's out next shop. week. Not that I'm buying it, but still. Eight protagonists. Oh no! Eight not... captivating. I journeys. forgot about this. Saga this collection. Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. It's funny. A lot of this of the playable protagonist views. Is New basically exhilarating what battles. people say Final Fantasy Seven. Saga Frontier Remastered is an took adventure a lot from. not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. Ooh. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin. Yeah. 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. <laughs> You're right, number 9. It, Plus, it looks a lot like uh, Final Fantasy launch, 7. Earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends... A lot of the place looked like Shinra Headquarters, the Sector 7 slums, a couple of other things as well. How was it? In this direct, it's a little bit Still a bit more. Uh, apparently Apex exists. It's not for me, but... <laughs> We still have eight more minutes. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is Mr. Yeah. This is for the 35th anniversary. No. Yeah, I had a feeling. So we should get some info this year about the, the Bread of the World too. I'm not, I'm not really surprised about that, to be honest. Now, here we go. This could be what I've been spoiled on. 
I think this is it. This is it. This is what I got spoiled on. Skyward Sword HD. Someone left... A lot of my followers and subscribers know that I'm a big fan. I'm a big proponent of been asking for this game. They said this needs a HD port. Granted, the visuals look shite because <laughs> it's a Wii game. But the controls were the big thing. And of course, someone left me a message, or someone left me a comment, said, your wish for Skyward, and I just cancelled it out there. It was so hard not to say something like this. But you, you, see, you saw how much I was talking about it. And someone else said the same thing to me. And I just, I didn't want to let it slip. It was... Skyward Sword Hate. Now, the big thing I want is this give me the release date. I just want to be able to play it with the Pro Controller. See, they're even saying how bad it was on the original. Even smoother, more intuitive. No. I want to play it normally. Don't just... Don't force me to play with the Soy-Cons. Can't wait to play Skyward Sword for the first time. I always make fun of Skyward Sword because everyone used to go on about how great it was and how everyone bought it. And I used to just tell them, if that was the case, why did it have less than 4% attach rate on the Wii? Because it's a casual console. Now, I'm, I'm worried. Okay. Okay, button controls. Now, with button only controls. Guys, button only controls. The future of gaming is so bright this year from this. I gotta wear shades. It is official. Now, I'm just hoping I can... I don't have to play it in handheld mode to do that. Oh, pff, that looks... No. Fine, we were <laughs> really grey looking. I am... Um, it was very washed out. I wouldn't say it was grey, but it was very washed out. I'll be all over that. I'm happy about that. It's July. It's a bit further away than I would have liked, but... I will not be pre-ordering the game on the eShop, Nintendo. I will not be doing that. Oh. スカイウォードソードは正義型のハードで発売したゼルダとしてはブレスオブザワイルドの一つ前のタイトルですなのでゲームの作りはそれまでの伝統的なゼルダシリーズを踏襲していますがそれだけでなくそれから前よりパラショ
No, not neglected. It has negated the future being so bright. We are now back to in the middle. Someone's going to be like, oh my god, it's the thing from near. It looks like some type of wilderness expansion. See, I find it hard to care about because it's Splatoon. I don't like Splatoon. I have a copy of it because I got it for free and I still don't like it. I played it once on the Wii U for about 10 minutes. I finally recognize that Splatoon is an apocalypse. Um, you know more about Splatoon than I do, CZ. <laughs> You're going to have to fill me in on that one. I would assume this is outside their city. I don't know. Oh, Splatoon 3! Oh! I thought it was, um, thought it was gonna be like an expansion or something, rather than split a whole new game. <laughs> I'm a kid, I'm a squid, I'm a kid, I'm a squid, I'm a... It's like existential crisis. Kid, I'm a squid, am I a kid or am I a squid? It still does nothing for me. I'm still surprised that some of these games that they've showed off today had a release date of next year. They're gonna have like a crossover teaser. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it look, it looks like exactly like another copy and paste. I mean, Splatoon to Splatoon 2 to Splatoon 3. And here's the funny thing. Splatoon isn't even an originally um, an, uh, a Nintendo original idea and concept. There was a cancelled game. There was a cancelled game on the Xbox 360 Arcade that was exactly what Splatoon is. It was team-based games in like an arena-style thing where you literally had to paint the walls, the ceiling, the ground and all your color versus the, the opposite. Okay, so that's it. We're looking good. And that is it for this. So what do I think of, what do I think of the whole thing anyway? Oh, someone's driving by. So what do I think of the whole thing? Well, overall, it was okay. I did expect a little bit better. I am very, 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 very happy that all the Nintendrones out there will still continue to be extra butthurt salty that they have no Persona games. It's so good. I absolutely love and adore the fact that that didn't happen. So they can burn and cry and fuel me with their salty tears. Chef's kiss. Too sweet, baby. Too sweet. Anyway, overall, I think the presentation was decent. I don't think it lived up to the hype that was set for it. Because naturally, many people had a massive amount of hype set for it. Because it was the first big official proper nintendo direct in a year and a half it was the expectations were on a scale of one to ten expectations from most people were probably a ten for me they were probably about a seven or eight because i know nintendo's consistently a disappointment lately it came in maybe one point under what i was expecting so if I was expecting a 7 out of 10, this was a 6. If I was expecting an 8 out of 10, this was a 7. So I can't complain in that way. It had some reasonable things, some nice surprises, some potential. Le that Legend of Mana remake and all, the port, that has potential. 
that's a nice surprise that it could potentially be good. There's that other one, the triangle strategy or whatever it is. Again, has a lot of potential. I can't wait to try out that demo. I'm going to download it tonight, but I'm not going to play it till tomorrow. Uh, Skyward Sword, of course, is a big deal. Um, the game looks like they... <laughs> visually it just looks like they turned up the resolution and didn't touch anything but i can play it with, i can play it with buttons and a, and a joypad <laughs> i'm happy about that i got like a couple of hours into the original game i say a couple of hours i probably got like one hour into it and i could not stomach those controls that fucking wii mode and i got worried that the switch which is wii 2.0 and it's crappy soycons almost debated me in that it was stuck with that one but thankfully that's not the case don't know shit about persona but your buddies like it so you're glad for them well see it's not on the switch so but persona's amazing and that's all that matters so the nintendo fanboys and the nintendrones can suck it but anyway that's it i'm gonna go see what the rest of the world has to say about all of this because i'm sure twitter has exploded at this point i'm sure all the discord servers have exploded and all as well but that's it no switch pro get wrecked i keep telling you it's not there um copy and paste splatoon boom no persona again even more boom Hope they don't make Skyward Sword HD like Mario. No, 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 no. See, I have hope for Skyward Sword HD to not be like Mario 3D All-Stars. I was originally very worried because of the Zelda, Zelda Anniversary, which will probably eventually get its own Zelda Anniversary Direct after March because the Mario one is running up to the 31st of March. So there'll probably be one in maybe April where they have a Zelda-focused one. So I was expecting... Uh, trilogy or compilation or something like that of a couple of old ones that were basically just straight ports and done poorly and shite like 3d all-stars but i also expected them to release some one separately just by itself like they've done on the wii u for example they have twilight princess hd they have what's the other one not skyward sword it's on the tip of my tongue it's the, the sea the ocean game it's a uh, Wind Waker, Wind Waker HD, they did those separately, they launched them separately, and they put a bit more effort into those separately, so I think they're going to do the same thing with Sky Skyward Sword, even if it looks like they didn't touch the graphics other than change the internal resolution, but it looks, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, it's out in July, it's out in July, we'll see, anyway, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, hopefully everyone is happy with everything we've seen in there, you're about to get a sweet infinity shot here as well, check this out, sweet ass infinity shot, anyway, peace out everyone, I'll see you next time, wherever, whenever it is, by the way, I will, next time I do anything will be tomorrow, 8pm GMT over on Twitch, link in the description, feel free to head on over, drop a follow, we'll be doing some uh, retro gaming, Monday to Friday, peace out everyone.